প্রিয় দর্শক একুশে টেলিভিশনের প্রতিদিনের সরাসরি সম্প্রচারিত অনুষ্ঠান একুশে দুপুরে সবাইকে আমন্ত্রণ ও শুভেচ্ছা শুভেচ্ছা আপনাদেরকেও যারা দেশের বাইরে বসে একুশে দুপুর দেখছেন প্রিয় দর্শক আজ আমাদের সাথে গল্প স্বল্প পর্বে অতিথি হিসেবে উপস্থিত থাকবেন জিয়াজ মিউজিশিয়ান ডেভিড হলবর্ন আর অনুষ্ঠানের পুরো সময় জুড়ে আপনাদের সঙ্গে আছি আমি আরিফ আক্তার নিপা এইবার আমন্ত্রিত অতিথির সাথে গল্প স্বল্প আমাদের স্টুডিওতে এই মুহূর্তে উপস্থিত আছেন জ্যাজ মিউজিশিয়ান ডেভিড হলবর্ন আসুন কথা বলি আমাদের আজকের অতিথির সাথে Welcome to our show. It's our pleasure to get you among us. My pleasure. David, at first, uh, would you please tell us uh, about yourself and uh, your life in Bangladesh? Um, well, I've spent altogether 11 years in Bangladesh. I've worked on three different projects here. Um, I work on projects with the government of Bangladesh to develop and improve uh, exports and international trade. Um, so at the moment um, I'm the chief technical advisor, it means the team leader for a program called Better Work and Standards. It's okay. funded by the EU and by the Norwegian government and uh, it's implemented by UNIDO. Okay. And this is the second phase. The first phase started in 2006. So this is the sixth year of that uh, two-phase project. Okay. What are your um, interests uh, uh, besides your work? Um, well, I have my family, of course. I, I have two uh, daughters who are doing higher studies. Um, I like jazz music very much, and I like to listen to it and also try to play it. Um, I like, I'm very interested in art. I studied uh, painting and fine arts when I was younger. So I'm still very interested in the arts. Are you enjoying with the musician group in Bangladesh? You know, I'm very lucky. I work in a project with um, several uh, colleagues, Bangladeshi colleagues, who are wonderful musicians. Okay. Um, Mujadul Haq is, uh, writes his own songs and sings, and sings folk songs. He plays tabla, he plays harmonium. Um, and Sultan Ahmed, who uh, is a tabla player and a flute player. So I'm very fortunate to have these colleagues that we can get together and enjoy playing music together. Oh, no, we play, you play jazz. Um, yes. Please uh, tell about this. So what is jazz exactly? Um, well, it's a music that started in uh, the United States of America. Traditionally, it's uh, um, accepted that it uh, began in uh, um, New Orleans and it's a mixture it's it's really invented by the African Americans so it has African rhythms and African uh, influence African vocal styles it has some connection with uh, European dance music and also with uh, band music and marching music so it's a confu you know a fusion of many different influences one kind of uh, music is jazz, okay? Yes. Um, you know, the main thing about jazz is that it's an improvised music. So in that way, it has a lot in common with uh, Indian and South Asian classical music, which is also okay. mainly improvised. So there's quite a, neat, a lot of understanding between the jazz musician and the classical uh, musician in, yeah. in South Asia. Okay. When and how did you um, uh, the, the, uh, when and how did you start learning uh, uh, the I jazz and wh what made you to start play? I was a little boy. Um, I was about 11 or 12 years old. I was a very keen reader. I loved going to the li library and just reading about anything. So I read a book about the history of jazz and I hadn't heard any jazz or at least I didn't know it was jazz. Um, but I liked the sound of it, and I went off and bought my first jazz record the same week, and I've been buying and listening to jazz uh, music ever since. So all my life I've, pref I've liked jazz, and even when I listen to uh, popular music, I prefer popular music which is influenced by jazz, which means a lot of popular music is like that. I didn't play the saxophone until very recently. I think I bought my saxophone in 2001 okay. when I was here in Bangladesh working. Oh no, you, uh, you know you can play uh, jazz and Bangladeshian music. And uh, now would you please 
play uh, fusion music? Oh yes, I'd love to. I'd love to. <laughs> Uh, is this a saxophone? This is a tenor saxophone. Yeah. There are saxophones okay. of all different sizes, Indeed. and this is a kind of middle size okay. in between the biggest and the, and the smallest. And how we play um, with my friends is we are playing often jazz tunes, but okay. we're using Bangla rhythms and Bangla instruments and sounds. So that's a little uh, uh, example of how we are trying to uh, mix what I know about jazz and Western music and what uh, my friends uh, know about uh, Bangla rhythms and uh, right. Bangla music. Oh, why and how did you feel uh, interested to exper experiment and uh, mix Bangla and Indian music with uh, uh, jazz? Um, I think it's just a unique opportunity to live in Bangladesh, to be a somebody who likes music, um, and to have the luck of meeting local musicians, because most of the musicians I've uh, met are through colleagues at, at work, um, not to take advantage of that. So I think the Bangladeshi friends and I, we are both the same. I want to learn more about their music and, and develop, and they want to learn more about mine. And um, when we play together, I can't, it's not easy for me to exactly learn their music, and it's not easy for them to exactly learn my music, but we can find a meeting place in between where we can enjoy working together, playing together. So, what particular style do you play? Sorry? What particular style do you play? Oh, my God, I don't think I can claim to a style because I'm not that uh, professional a musician. But the musician that really inspired me most is a tenor saxophone player called Sonny Rollins. And he was in the 1950s and 60s, he was, you know, one of the real stars of tenor saxophone. I saw him playing in London live when I was about 19. 19. And this song that we just played is one of his songs. So he's a big inspiration for me. Um, of course, he's not with us anymore, but I still listen to his uh, music very much. Yeah. What are the main instruments used in jazz? Uh, typically, you will have a drum kit, and the drummer, like in a rock band, he will have about seven or eight different drums for different sounds. And this is something that I like about uh, uh, Bangla music, because our friends who play tabla, they have two little drum heads and they get more music and more variety of sound out of these two little things than the jazz drummer with all his drums. So you have a drum kit who's mainly keeping the rhythm but doing a little bit of uh, decoration as well. You have a bass player and the bass player is setting the rhythm but he's also giving the pattern of the harmony. So he's playing very simple boom 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 but telling you whereabouts you are in the tune. You often have a keyboard or a guitarist who plays chords, like, like in rock music and pop music. And then you would have perhaps saxophone and uh, trumpet, typically, who are the melody instruments who play the tune. Uh, 
Do you listen to any Bengali music? Well, I hear Bengali music a lot because, of course, <laughs> Bengali music is on the radio. How's there, uh, that music? I, um, well, I especially like. I, me I, I mentioned that I play together with some colleagues from my project, Bengali uh, colleagues, but we're very lucky that we have a very good musician and uh, singer, um, Wakil Ahad who also uh, is joining us for fun and I think he has a wonderful voice so I love everything he sings on the whole I like older um, folk songs rather than uh, the modern music that you hear in Bangladesh uh, the 